Hi again, YouTube. Today I'm bringing you a work in progress or work with me of a face up I did for somebody for a commission. Anyway, first off, just several things. Sorry for the camera angle sometimes, and also sorry for the camera going blurry sometimes that's not something I could control I use my phone to record so yeah <laughs> sorry about that anyway let's get started I spray a few coats of my sealant Tamiya TS80 and then I start with my pastels. And the first color I'm using is a beige, pinky beige color, which I'm using to add some natural shadows all over the doll's face. Around the nose, around the eyes, around the ears, forehead. Pretty much anywhere there would be a natural shadow and I'm also being very careful because this doll's head is very pale so if I add too much blushing then well <laughs> the doll's head would just completely change color and not fit their body So after the beige color, I'm using a, using a peach color and I'm using a, an eraser to erase a bit some of something that got on there. Anyway, I use the peach color to enhance some of the shadows and to add a bit of a flush to the face. Starting off with the nose and then the cheeks. Now, the person who commissioned this face up had a pretty good idea of what they want, so they made a mock up, and I'm following the mock up. So, some choices are not within my usual style, but I think she turned out cute. Okay, then I also add the peach color on the lower eyelids to give the waterline some color. And in the deepest parts of the ears. And at the, on the top or the tips of the ears. And I seal. And on the next layer, I start using the peachy color again, adding that a bit to the lips and also enhancing some of the color in other places. I use one of those wide bristled brushes or a fan like brush however you want to call it to remove the excess pastel dust of the face up so after sealing again I'm going to enhance the colors a bit more with both the peach and the beige
a note that my pastels aren't super soft so I have to carve off some of the pastel for me to get some pastel powder to use it makes me wonder how soft the pastels that you can just lift it from the pastel itself are And sometimes I use a piece of tissue paper to feather out the blushing for a more natural look. And my next step, since I don't have purple pastels, I'm going to use a pink and a blue to mi mix them up and make and I'm going to be using this color for the eyeshadow and I used my usual blushing brush and just apply it on the eye upper eyelid and going with my reference and using a kneaded eraser to shape it into the right shape it's in a kind of a cat eye eyeliner type shape And when I can't build color, I seal again and I start intensifying the color of the eyeliner. I mean, eye shadow. And I've noticed that my eyeshadow isn't that dark, so I'm using a bit of a darker blue to mix the colors. And honestly, on camera, it looks a lot more blue than purple. And then I use some of the darker pink on the lips. So, although the peachy color gives a natural look to the lips, the Kate wanted a more pink color for the lips, if I can call it that. Anyway, I'm also adding a bit of eyeshadow on the bottom eyelid, slightly blending it into the upper purple eyeshadow. And still shaping it with my kneaded eraser. Also, if you're curious, most of this video plays out at four times the speed, so I'm 
maybe you'd be interested in watching it real time by knowing that. Next I carved off some dark grey, I mean dark brown, and I'm starting on the eyebrows. I'm using a tiny angled brush, which has for some reason the bristles except the very tip are hard. So they're pretty nice for starting off the eyebrows like this. Kate also didn't want to have well lashes on the eyebrow my hairs on the eyebrows so I made sure to try and get a very smooth look the, to the eyebrows and I'm going back and forth a lot to make sure they are symmetrical but even trying this hard <laughs> I ended up with one brow, tiny bit higher than the other. It's always the same, and it always happens to the same eyebrow with me. Which at this point can, could almost be a... How do you say it? An indication that I did my face up. Not like I have that many face-ups but anyway that's how it turned out and I also as usual use my kneaded eraser to help shape the eyebrows and off camera I also used a mirror to help me see the symmetry of the eyebrows After I and Kate are happy with the eyebrows, I seal again. And I go right back to darkening the eyeshadow. It's in this part of the video you can see that the eyeshadow looks really really blue. But it's only on the footage. On the doll it's more purple. Adding a bit more natural blushing around the eyes with the beige color and then going back to the eyeshadow. And oops. 
now I'm using a very light grey to add a bit of a how do I say it an upper layer to the eyeshadow and also muting the color a tiny bit and then going back to the normal eyeshadow in this face up it was with a lot of going back and forth with a lot of colors achieve the effect I want and I'm almost completely off screen now Darkening the lips, fading out a bit of the colors. And going back to the eyeshadow. And naturally when I can't build up any more color, I seal again. So most of the blushing work is done and Kate was satisfied and so I'm starting with the paint work. So I dil first dilute some black paint and I'm going to paint the, the well the upper eyelid. with the back I'm sorry for the pause and trying to make it nice and smooth and symmetrical And because I find brushes sometimes to be very unpredictable, I use it in short strokes. Next, the eyelashes. Now I tend to use another doll and put it next to me so that I have a guide for how thick the eyelashes should be. Because it's always, for me at least, that you think it's thin until you see another doll whose eyelashes are thin. And yeah, that's, that seems to somehow happen a lot with me. I don't know if that's a thing for anybody else. But anyway, so because of that, I tend to keep a doll next to me with, thinner, with eyelashes. <laughs> Anyway, when I'm not happy with the eyelashes, I use some paint, or I mean some water, to erase, erase my brush strokes. Now, see the brush I'm using right now was a triple zero brush, which ended up being too big for what I'm going for, and I didn't realize that until it's until yeah I already done and erased the eyelashes three times I think if I remember correctly one of those three times which I showed to Kate but yeah I bought out my four zeros brush and that works so much better. And 
so yeah the thickness or size of the brush really does matter when doing eyelashes and eyebrow hairs I probably should have put a comparison in about how different they were and then I'm also adding a tiny bit of black on the edge the very very tiny edge of the lower eyelid I'm happy with that. I bring out my white paint. And I use my white paint to highlight some of the lashes. And also fix some mistakes. And after that, I use my peach colored water color pencil. And with my water color pencil nice and sharp, I add some shadows to the lashes. Next I'm going to be mixing up a bit of red and a bit of white paint. And yeah, I struggle with mixing so it takes a while. And too much. Anyway, I use this red paint and I'm going to be making or defining the line between the lips. I start at the corners of the mouth to give it a slight smile. then I move to the inside of the mouth which honestly is sometimes a bit difficult for me as the amount of paint on the brush makes it a big smear but I use some water and thin down that smear but sometimes I'm not careful enough and the water seeps out of the lips onto the cheeks so I have to clean that up or I just completely erase part of the line so it's a bit going back and forth because I'm I struggle with this part a bit anyway when we're happy after this, we continue to the second to last seal.
And next I'm using some iridescent powder and I'm covering the whole head in it. And that's just to say you need to use a lot more than you think you need to use. Like four or five times more than you think you need to use. So even though she looks completely sparkly now, after the layer of sealant, most of it's going to be gone. So yeah, use more than you think you need. Next, I bring out some uh, uh, peach colored pearl powder and my gloss. And I'm going to use the gloss varnish <laughs> to add to the lips and to the eyes or eyelids anyway make them nice and shiny And then I mix some of the varnish with my pearl powder and add it onto the inner corner of my eyeliner to give it a nice shine. Just look at how sparkly it is. And then we're done. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. And I hope you think she's cute. The owner is going to give her some nice lashes and well I hope she, <laughs> you in, hope you think she looks cute. Thanks for watching. Bye.